Hey, hey, hey. So, this is not one of my normal videos. However, I felt the need to come in and say something to you guys. And um, it was on my heart. And I just been thinking and I was just like, you know, this video is about having the faith for God. And if any of you know what's been going on in the news about the Florida storm and Lieutenant Dan, shout out to Lieutenant Dan. Um, Heavenly Father, I applaud you for giving Lieutenant Dan the assignment. This man... Lord Jesus, yes. This man understood. Let me say that. With all grace and mercy, he understood the assignment. And people in this world, they're questioning the person. They are questioning the man himself, which is Dan, Lieutenant Dan. But I think they missing the message. Because God will send the message through people who you won't even look at twice. People are so worried about him taking drugs, him, you know, his criminal background, his, they worried about the wrong thing. Then let me just say that they worried about the wrong thing. What they should be concerned with or what they should be um, focusing on. Let me say that because these words are just coming because I'm so upset about this thing, right? But what they should be more concerned about is the message. This man out of his own mouth said, God told me not to move. Let that, let that sink in for a minute. God told him not to move. And he listened. Whether he was doing any type of medications, whether he wasn't in his right mind like some people are saying, it don't matter. It just does not matter what he was on. But I'm going to tell you what he was on. He was on the faith of God. No matter what kind of medicines he was taking, no matter if he was in his right mind, no matter what his situation or his circumstances, lack thereof resources, he was standing. Y'all not hearing me, even though he only got one leg. He was standing on the word of God. His faith, in God was bigger listen bigger than anything that man told him to do or suggested for him to do people are worried about how many times he been arrested what he have done to other people and and I'm not I'm not here to um how can I say this? I am not um, in favor of the things that he did. Okay, I'm not. This is that's not what this is about. What this message is about is you never know who God is going to send the message to to send to you. Let me say that again, because some of y'all may not understand. It does not matter. God will send the message to. Somebody 
as long as it's, it gets to you, the assignment has been, is, is done. His assignment, Lieutenant Dan's assignment, was to let everybody know through the storm of Milton, don't move. Because God is on the way. He got us. He is covering us during this storm. And it just, it just sent, you know, red, I mean, not red, let me not say red. It just sent smoke stick signals in the air for me. First of all, knowing that he is not, Lieutenant Dan is, let's just say one of, you know, maybe a less fortunate person. However, he still is human, no matter what. Uh, but he didn't. He didn't really have the resources to get away. And mind you, he sleeps on a boat every single night because there again, God told him to do it. And I just want people to understand this man sent a message not only to the people in Florida but to the whole wide world. And the message, what I got from it was if God tells us or you or me to do something is your faith big enough to trust in God to do exactly what he says to do without veering off left or right up or down I will speak for myself sometimes I don't have that kind of faith if you want to be honest sometimes I feel like I, me, can do it, but I can't. It always fails. It always goes left, down in the gutter, up yonder. It, it just, it don't work out, okay? I'm just going to be honest. However, when I go to God in prayer and when I call out the name Jesus, that's, I mean, that's just, that's just it. I have to go to God in prayer and I have to call out the name Jesus first to hear what is being said to me and then understand my assignment. And I say all of that to say this without hesitation. Lieutenant Dan stood on the assignment that God had given to him. And he said, when the storm is over, I will tell you what it was like. And I'm here to tell you that Lieutenant Dan survived that storm in his boat during Hurricane Milton in Florida Without a scrape. Do you hear me? Without a scrape. On his body. Without. Oh my God. Like I just can't even. I can't even. Think. And imagine. How terrified I would have been. Knowing that. The water was rising that the winds were high, that my boat was shifting in all different directions, that I could have been capsized. But Dan had no worries. He feared nothing. He feared nothing. And baby, I'm asking God today, 
can you please, and I say this with all my heart and all my everything, my spirit, my soul, my mind, my being, my human beingness, if that's a word. Father God, I ask you in the name of Jesus to send me the same faith that you sent to Lieutenant Dan. Amen. That is my prayer. Because I have never, and I don't even know this man. I have never seen him besides on um on social media. But the faith that he has in God is the same faith that I've been searching for. I want to be able to go to God and ask him to help me in situations, bless me and my family, give me the strength that I need each and every day to endure whatever comes my way without hesitation, knowing that he is going to do that. But no, what do I do? I pray about it. I pray for it. And then the next day, I, in my mind, trying to figure out how can I achieve this without, without getting the word from God. Because I want it fast. I want it now. And I know that I'm not the only one. If you can resonate with what I'm saying, Drop it down in the comments and let your girl know. Because I know I'm not the only one. I am I am uh, big in God. I'm big on Jesus. I'm big in faith. But I don't have the faith as Lieutenant Dan. I'm going to say that. I trust God. Don't get me wrong. I trust and I believe in his word. But something in my mind says, girl, you need to be doing something too. You need to be getting stuff together. So when that word do come, it's all the way together. But that's not how that go. It's not how it go. God want us to go to him in prayer. And then we have to be silent. We have to be silent so that we can hear what he has to say. We can't keep, and I'm speaking for myself, can't keep clouding my mind with my thoughts. I need to be waiting on his word. And going back to Lieutenant Dan, what better way to hear God is on the water. You are on the water Surrounded by God's creation. The trees. The animals. The fish. The alligators. The whatevers. You are surrounded. By God's holy water. And like they say. The calm before the storm. He was able to hear the word of God surrounded by God's creation. Whew, let that sink in. While we in our houses, <laughs> scared to go out, this man was living, is living on the water. God's most precious creation and it just leads me to think that we have to and I am speaking to myself when I'm saying all of this it's not just for you it's for me too that we have to build that faith that God told us that we needed in order to be with him first of all 
We have to build that faith and know that it will be done. It may not be done in our timing. And that's where I mess up because your girl be ready for it to happen. Okay, I'm like, God, I know you hear me. I know you hear me. I said this yesterday. I said this the day before. Like, what what was taking you so long? Yes, that's how I talk to God. Now, however you talk to God, that's your business, okay? But I talk to him as if that was my homeboy, okay? So I be like, yo, what's going on now? How long I got to wait? Of course, he ignores me. <laughs> but eventually... He comes out and he's like, here I am. I said I was going to do what I said I was going to do. But I'm going to do it when I'm ready. I'm going to do it when it's time. And right now it's not time. So we just have to sit back and relax like Dan did on that boat, baby. He was relaxed. He had everything he needed to weather the storm. And that's what we have to learn to do. We have to sit back, relax, and weather the storm. And when the storm is over, everything that we have prayed for will be sitting right there. You have to make it through the storm. You have to know that God is going to see you through the storm. And when the sun starts shining again, it's time for you to go to work. Because one thing I know, and this is my opinion, God is going to provide for you. However, you're going to have to do the work and you're going to have to provide for others. So he give you something, but you're going to have to give something back. Not necessarily to him, but maybe to your community, maybe to your family, maybe to your job, maybe to whatever the case may be. You got to give to get. I do know that. You got to give to get. And you have to give it wholeheartedly without expecting anything in return. Because God is not a selfish God. He's going to give you what you ask for. But one thing I know, he wants you to tell people about him. And that's all I got to say about that. Um, and so I just wanted to make this video, y'all, because I, I was in my feelings with this Lieutenant Dan. And I really, I salute you, King. Because with, with, without people like you, this world would be so boring if I can say so myself and I do want to leave y'all with this with this one message right this is what has been playing in my head over and over and over and over and I just want everybody to think about this okay most of the people that the news put on the television who say so have a problem, whether it be pills, substances, whatever, because I don't know if I could say all this on YouTube and, you know, listen, this is for entertainment purposes only. I don't know. Who have had uh, downfalls, who may have been homeless, who may have just been dealt the worst hand in life. The news people will show you them in the hopes that you talk about them in a negative way. But let me tell you something. Most of them leave you with a message and a gem. Just like the man with the pants on the ground. But what was he like saying? Pants on the ground, pants on the ground. Nobody walking around with their pants on the ground, however the song went, right? His message was, do you know why people sag their pants? And if y'all know, y'all know. 
That was his message. He was he was on an assignment. The lady that was saying, not today. Ain't nobody got time for this. Not today or something like that. She was saying, no, not today. Her message was, don't play with me. Not today. You might be able to play with me tomorrow, but you won't be able to play with me today. That was her assignment. And now, here come Lieutenant Dan. And I know it's, another, it's some others, but I just can't remember them all. His message is, don't move. When God tell you to stay still, stay put, just be. Just be. Don't move. And all of them was supposedly not in their right mind. <laughs> but they message was so powerful if you pay attention. So I'm just here today to say, don't look into the features or the body of a person. Look into their heart, their mind, and the words that they speak. Everyone is not, you know, an English professor. Everyone does not, you know, speak perfect English. I'm one of them. And I don't care. Okay. However, the message is, listen to the messenger. It don't matter where it come from. Have you ever thought about maybe the things that they are on or taking is clearing their mind to send the message? I mean, that may be a little far-fetched. However, it could be. We don't know. While you out here thinking that you are on top of your game because you don't take prescriptions and you don't do this and you don't do that. And all the while, the people that are, are the ones that's delivering the message to the masses. Everybody gets those messages. I, yeah, I don't even know what, I, what's, what I'm saying. I mean, I do. <laughs> but I don't know if it's coming across right. So I'm just going to end this video. But I just want to say, God, Jesus, I'm asking you to send me the faith of Lieutenant Dan. Amen.